When I met Dana, all he wanted to do was for me to predict his life expectancy. And I hadn't done that in almost seven years. So I said, okay, for Dana White, I'll come out, I'll meet with you. I'll do a blood test on you, a gene test on you. I'll pull all your medical records and I'll give you your life expectancy. At 1.30 in the morning, when the lab was running his blood work, I've had seven life-threatening alert calls. Triglycerides are almost 800. Now triglycerides are a measure of blood fat. Okay, it shouldn't be above 149. This is a cataclysmic level. I then saw that he was insulin resistant. He was pre-diabetic. He had skyrocketing levels of cholesterol. He, had, he was hypertriglyceridemic. And uh, so I flew out to see him and I sat down with Dana. And I said, look, if you don't do what we're going to ask you to do for the next 10 weeks, based on this blood work and the medical records that we pulled for the previous 10 years and the demographic data we pulled for 10 years, you have a life expectancy of 10.4 years. And he flicked a switch, a level of discipline that, you know, I haven't seen. He goes, dude, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. 